Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some pleasant conditions across the region this morning. As the temperature is warm today in the mid-60s, no chance of precipitation or lightning. We'll see some slight increase of our cloudiness for the afternoon and the evening hours, but overall, nice day across the region. Freezing level this morning at 7,000 feet. Winds are slightly breezy out of the west-southwest or westerly component between 1,000 and 3,000 feet, around 25 to 20 knots. Seeing our winds decrease at 6,000 feet, 7 knots, and increasing slowly through the column this morning, seeing a westerly wind at 25,000 feet at 50 knots this, this morning. Taking a look at our current surface analysis, high pressure in control and off the coast. It's going to be giving us uh, some tranquil conditions for today and tomorrow. We'll have an area of low pressure move through the region for our Wednesday night and a Thursday. And taking a look at our satellite imagery for this morning, mostly sunny skies across the area. See that cloud cover from the west starting to move east, and that'll give us more mostly cloudy conditions for the late afternoon and the evening hours. The European mile for the next few days, you can see here, high pressure and control for the day and tomorrow, and the area low pressure moves through for Wednesday and Thursday, giving us good chances of rainfall, as well as a chance of a thunderstorm, especially early afternoon on Thursday and also Late morning on Thursday looks like the best timing of that to occur. As far as Friday goes, looking like high pressure builds in behind that area, low pressure, nice conditions. And then for Saturday, we'll see a area, low pressure move through the region. It's going to give us a chance of some rainfall. Thunderstorm activity looks fairly minimal at this time, this system, but we'll continue to track uh, how much instability we are able to see on Saturday afternoon. And then for Sunday, looking like we'll have Slightly breezy conditions, high pressure starts to build back into the region and continues from Monday into Tuesday of next week. Our risk chart for today, green chart across the board, high of 65 today, low of 43 tonight. Southwesterly winds, 7 to 12 knots, becoming south-southwesterly, 8 to 13 knots for late this afternoon into the evening hours. Once we see that wind shift off the water, we'll see temperatures quickly drop in the lower 50s. Light winds overnight in general. As far as our terminal forecast goes, we'll see VFR conditions in the next 24 hours. That's that increase of our mid-level cloudiness around 12,000 feet, especially during the evening hours after 1800 local. And then we'll see uh, just some serious cloudiness across the region overnight with a broken deck of 25,000 feet by tomorrow morning at 8 local. Our ties are slightly above normal and looking at Wednesday into Thursday. Wednesday, partly to mostly cloudy and mild with light onshore flow. High of 64 degrees and for Wednesday night, mostly cloudy during the evening, becoming overcast overnight with scattered rain showers after dawn. An evening low of 48 degrees, temperatures rising in the lower 50s overnight. And for Thursday, we'll see cloudy skies, slightly breezy winds, low clouds and rain showers likely. Chance of embedded thunderstorm in the morning and early afternoon, we'll see a high of 59 degrees. Rain shower chances near 100%. Lightning chances around 50% to 60%, so a good chance of uh, seeing a thunderstorm move through the region with this system on Thursday. As I mentioned, best chances will be during the late morning into the early afternoon hours. Seeing slightly breezy winds as well, near 23 to 24 knots with our gusts. And we'll see low clouds in the area, especially with the rainfall moving through. So the next seven days, mild temperatures for the next seven days, each day expected to be above normal. 65 degrees today, 64 for tomorrow, 59 for Thursday with the low cloudiness in here and winds off the water. Should we see those temperatures remaining in the upper 50s? If we do see a lull in the activity during the late afternoon, uh, could see temperatures warm into the lower 60s during that time frame. But now, or this current time, it does not look likely. For Friday, it looks like a very nice day. We'll see some morning fog burning off. For p.m., partly cloudy conditions, high of 67 degrees. Saturday, we'll see a high around 70. Chance of rain showers looking like about a 50%. Chance of those rain showers. Looks like right now the best chance may come during the morning hours with only a slight chance during the afternoon. We'll continue to monitor that system, as I mentioned, for our Saturday. And for Sunday and Monday, it looked like temperatures get back towards normal, but still slightly above. High on Sunday, 61. High on Monday of 65 degrees. And partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies for both days. So looking like a good start to next week. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m.